recording. So I believe my device is recording. So, like I want to say, MetaTrader 4 is actually a trading platform that we use to make technical analysis and fundamentals and sentimental analysis. And MetaTrader 4 has been in existence for some time. It has been in existence since 2005. That's MetaTrader 4. And MetaTrader 5 came into existence exactly 2013, April. And the platform used to design MetaTrader 4 is MetaCode's language 4. And the platform that is used to design MetaTrader 5 is MetaCode's language 5. Now, without wasting much of our time, we'll just talk about how this is being used. Now, for everybody who is actually trading, once you register with a broker, a broker will give you some trading password and login details. All those details are exactly what you use to log into <clears throat> what? MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. Now, there is something we will not look into. MetaTrader 4 or 5 looks exactly like this. You see something like a lot size here. And you probably see some open trades. Can you see? So that's how it looks like. And what I'll be doing is tomorrow, we'll be doing some practicals on, or maybe in our advanced class, we'll do some practicals on how to use MT4 or 5 on your phones so that when you want to trade, you don't have problems trading. Now, that takes us to partial closing. What's partial closing? Partial closing is when a trader books part of his profit in the forex market. Let's say, for instance, you have a trade running, and that trade is euro. And let's say this trade is running, but you can see some profits already. At this profit you are seeing, you are seeing maybe like $20. Now, sir, let's say you want to take some trades from, take some profits out of this. The truth of the matter is, you can now go to this trade. You can long press this trade. When you long press this trade, it means that you press it for some time. You remove your hand. Then you now edit that. Uh, what do they call it? You edit the um, lot size. Let's make it zero point zero two. So once we do this, sir. At the bottom, you will see something like close with profit. You see something like close with profit, and this would be what? $12. So, once you close this in profit, once you close this in profit, automatically, this will go to your profit margin. So, you have $12 registered in your profit. But guess what? You will be left, you know when you minus 0 0.03 from 0 0.05? You will have 0 0.02 remaining. You will be left with 0 0.02.
Now, because you have taken $12 from $20, you'll be left with $8. Now, let's say you now leave this straight wrong. Probably you, you let it, you let the profit increase mm -hmm. to maybe $15. Then at the end of the day, you can even come here and add that extra $15 to this. So at the end of the day, you'll get $27. Are you there? At the end of the day, you get $27. So that's partial closing. Partial closing is when a forex trader books part of his profit in the forex market. Is there any question based on partial closing? Is there any question? Mr. Bright, do you have any question? Hello? Is there any question? Okay, if there's no question, then it means that we are going to proceed with the class. I can see that we have some challenges of networks here. It is well, it's our network. So let's continue, please. The next one I will now look into is trail stopping. The next one I'll look into is trade stopping. What's trade stopping? Trade stopping is when on your chart, you have made a certain profit in the forest market. Then what do you do? You now lock part of the profit. Let me show you. Hello. Yes, are you there, sir? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Is this Mr. Bright? Yes, the network is really disturbing. Oh, I in, in fact, based is that on is, is all based on partial video. closing? What do you say, sir? Yeah. Based on partial. Yes. Based on partial closing. Yes, sir. I'm with you, sir. Yeah, you said that uh, on the meta trader four or five. Yes, sir. If if you hook part of your prop profit so that it will run trading after you've closed some part of the profit. Yes, sir. Uh, can, can you get me? So yes. there's something you made, you made mention of lot size, yes. editing the lot size. Yes. Um, I, I believe there's a space to edit the lot size in MetaTrader 4. Definitely. When you modify the trade. When but you, you when... said zero, zero point, yeah, 0 0.05. Okay. How did you sub subtract 0 0.05? No, what? Hello? The lot, How did you, you subtract 0? Can you hear me? Can you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. The lot size yes, I can. was previously 0 0.05. So what I did was that I, I modified it. I edited the lot size. Do you get that, sir? So when you edit okay. the lot size, like giving it a 0 0.02, 0 0.03, or 0 0.04, automatically at the base on your meta trader four or five, you will notice that a profit will show. That profit that shows will be based on, will be based on what the new lot size you have introduced. 
you get that, sir? That profit that we show will be based on the new lot size yes. you have introduced. Yes, it will be based on the new lot size you introduced. Yes, so that is exactly what Pasha Clothes means. You get it. How that's fine now, sir. Okay, yes, that's fine. So you're editing the lot size. Yes. Is to suit the enterprise, is to suit the capital you use in trading. That's why you edited the lot size. No, I edited the lot size. Assuming you are trading with a $50 account. No, no, no. If you are trading with a $50 account, you can't do that, sir. I mean, when you are partial closing, your partial closing will make sense when you are trading with probably $200, $300, $400 upwards. You don't use $50 and have a successful partial closing. You know why? Because initially, okay. you know why? Initially, the lot size of a $50 on the normal sense, sir, if you do 50 divided uh, by 10,000, it's supposed to give you 0 0.005. So there is no way you can edit such. Are you doing? There is no way you can even edit such. Uh, it's not possible. You get it, sir. It's not possible. So that's uh, not true. Mm. You get it. So okay. welcome, Mr. Okay. Some people are trying to call me. We have a network problems. Well, no problem. We continue. We have recorded video for them. Now, my next class, my next subtopic here is my next subtopic here is trade stopping. What is trade stopping? Trade stopping is when trade stopping is when let's say for instance you have a chart. Let's say this is the entry point of the chart. And let's say initially you are on a signal. Let's say that signal is Euro USD buy. I don't know. Did anybody trade today? Did anybody trade today? And let's say this is your take profit. This is your stop loss. Now, see what trade stopping means, sir. Trade stopping means that, let's say I have a trade. See, one thing you must know is, if you're on a buy, let's say you have a trade running like this. You know, once it crosses this entry point, you are in a profit. And let's say already, you are making a profit of probably, let's say, $20. As, as at that time, you were on $20. Then, you now feel that, ah, for this thing not to come down and for me not to regret this, let me trade stop this. What does trade stopping mean? Trade stopping means that you take your stop loss value and you, you put it above your entry point. Let me explain myself. Let's say I have a value 0. Point. Let's say I have a value 0. Point. One, two, five, six. This is your stop loss. Then let's say this is your entry point. Zero point two five one two zero. Then let's say your, your TP, your TP, of course, is higher than the entry point. Zero point three five. One six zero point three five one six. So see what trade stopping means. Trade stopping means that if I take this my stop loss, now I will now go to where I have my stop loss. This is the value for a stop loss. I'll now go to where I have the stop loss. I'll now change the stop loss value. Let's say I'll put this new stop loss here. Let's say I change the stop loss value to. In between this, to be 0 0.28. One, six, zero. So, if I put this here, I would have claimed if this trade now misbehaves and it comes down to hit this my new stop loss. I, ha I have nothing to worry because 
the, the, the thread struck me above the entry point. So it means at this point, I can still go home with maybe like $15. Can you see? I can still go with maybe $15, which I don't feel bad about. Mr. Sylvester, please drop your question in the message section. Drop your question in the message section. I can see you are raising your hand. So that's how trade stopping works. Trade stopping works in that way. So is there any is there any question based on that? I just want us to trash the questions based on every topic. So you may be wondering, how can I do this on the chat? Don't feel bad or worried. In the advanced class, this, we are doing pure practical. I am not going there to go and be giving theory. I have never done that in my advanced class. That's why I said in the advanced class, once you join the advanced class, get ready for some activities. I can say, Mr. Bright, today, you are using your phone. And let me tell you one advantage of using your phone. I Don't worry. There's a way I use Zoom to do it. You understand it. One advantage of using your phone is that as I'm instructing, you are inputting. So that makes you know it. And you can ask your questions. Are you with me? And you can always ask. And do you not know beauty about this advanced class. We will always have days of revising the beginner's class in the advanced class. So that when you are leaving that class, you are leaving solid. Are you with me? So that is that. Is there any question, Mr. Bright and Mr. Sylvester? I can see someone else is trying to come in. Is there any question before I move on? I want to trash all the questions before I go to the next topic. That's what I'll do today. It's an interactive section. Okay, uh, I, have a, I have a question. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, you, you you talked about trade stopping. Trade stopping is placing your stop loss a little bit above the entry point. That is if you are buying, sir. If you are selling, yeah. If, if you are buying, yes. If you are selling, the reverse is the case, sir. If you then are you are, selling, you are placing it below the entry point. God bless you, sir. You are very correct because your TP okay. is at the bottom. Okay, okay. that's trade stopping. Yes, trade stopping. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. okay and at the meta trade, you will see an entry point. Definitely there. Uh -uh. Assuming you have meta trade up for now, then on the meta trade, you share the meta trade. You guys should shut up now. Coach me here. Please, hello, please. I want to beg for something. Mr. Bryce, sorry about this. Please, I want to beg for something. Okay. If you have, if your background is noisy, please don't unmute yourself. Please, Mr. Emmanuel. If your background is noisy, don't unmute yourself. If you have a question, you can leave the environment you are to ask your questions, please. Because everything we are doing here, we are posting it on YouTube. Other people will also watch all these things we are doing. Are you with me? Thank you very much. Mr. Bright, you can go on, sir. Thank you, sir. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think you've answered my question. Okay. Yeah, I think you've... Uh, ordinarily, ordinarily, uh, mm, where yes, is stop loss placed? Yes, sir. Where is stop loss of place then? Okay. I love, In the question. Chat. I love the question you asked. The truth of the matter is, as a trader, your stop, uh, loss, your stop loss should not be too far from your entry point. Are you with me, sir? And so many people have asked me this question, Mr. Gospel, why is it that you always give a stop loss of 50 pips behind? I will tell you tonight. With research and discovery, sir, I noticed that if I, okay. put, my, if I put my stop loss at 20... Yeah, it's above your entry point if you are buying. Below, stop loss is below the entry point if you are buying. If you are selling, stop loss is above the entry point. You get. You get it, sir. Is that clear? Network is really disturbing. Is that clear, sir? All right. All right. Hello, is that clear? Is that clear? All right. When you when you join us, Mr. Um, right. Let me just quickly proceed. The next one I'll talk about tonight is swing trading. 